Hey, all my JavaScript friends, this is the Virtual Wait, aka Mike Smith, and this is an update on our physics video. Now, if you remember correctly, in our video, I mentioned that one of the worst things I did was to hack the ammo.js file so I could get it to work correctly because Vite, for some reason, was not loading it in correctly. At least that's what I originally thought. And I told you in the video that I would take some time off to, literally, to, to try to figure out what was going on with it and report back to you. Well, I figured out what was wrong with it, and so I'm reporting back to you. Now, just for a quick recap, basically when we did the import for the ammo.js and we did the constant ammo equals await ammo, which is the way that Babylon.js told us to do it, we ended up with this error. Let me bring that up. Yep, here it is. Cannot set properties of undefined, undefined ammo. So after taking a look at it and figuring out that the undefined part was this being undefined, it just suddenly hit me, well, if this is undefined, should I not be able to do something like this? And would that work? Because the bind, remember the bind method on an object basically delivers a diff different this to the function. So I thought, okay, well, let's try that. So let's save it. Look at that, works like a champ. Where's my error? It's gone. So it ended up being just a very simple little fix. All you have to do, do nothing wrong with Vite. Vite was just bringing it on in without a problem. It was how it was interpreting this. So all I did was just bind this to window, basically making it, I'm assuming at this point, a global variable, which, which is fine. You know, hey, global variable, what are you gonna do about it? I've got to, you know, it has to work. But once we get the bind set there, heh, works like a champ. So now it really is working. I am importing ammo.js from the library. So if it ever gets updated, then I would have the correct, I would have the correct library file and I wouldn't have to keep on trying to rehack it every single time it got changed. So I just thought I'd have this quick little video to show you that yes, it is fixed. This is all you have to do. I've made the change inside fwjs-race, and that's it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I've had a great day now that I figured this thing out. Again, this is the Virtuate, aka Mike Smith. We'll see you later.